Well, Aaron, this could mean a whole lot more people moving to the city of Marina. They don't have numbers on demographics yet, but they do know that these homes are selling fast. Two new housing developments could bring as many as 2,200 new homes to Marina over the next few years. From what we understand, they're selling very well. We get a lot of interest. Um, I get several calls per, uh, per week from people that are interested in the homes. Christine Hopper with the City of Marina says it's issued 70 building permits in just the last six months between the two new developments, the Dunes and Sea Haven. And the developers are estimating they'll be building as many as 18 homes per month over the next few years. Well, we've been selling for just a couple of months and we've already sold nearly 20 homes. Thomas Zabrowski with New Haven says people are finding the development gives them a lot of home for their money. For under $900,000, you can get a five bedroom, 3,400 square foot house, and you have the option of picking your floor plan. He says their clients are retirees, young professionals, and families, many new to the area. We are getting um, people now who are coming from the Bay Area who are thinking of relocating um, to be close to the ocean. Uh, and to purchase a home uh, at a price that they can't find in the Bay Area. Developers say they like Marina because unlike other places on the Central Coast, new construction is an option. Or they have the water, they have the land, you know, they have the zoning and, and they want the growth. Scott Negri is the man behind all of the new restaurants at the Dunes Shopping Center. He says the new homes mean new people. That's the hope, absolutely. Yeah. Giving the people, for many people, they can walk here, they can ride their bike here. Uh, then come over. We're trying to give them a big assortment of different places to eat. So, so far, so good. City planners say from the shopping center to the new restaurants to the new homes, it's all right in line with their vision for Marina's future. The general plan does anticipate a population increase. Our current general plan wanted uh, was expecting up to 40,000 by 2020. We're not quite there, obviously, with the economic downturn um, a few years ago. But we are expecting uh, a population increase. Sea Haven used to be Marina Heights, but the old developer went under during the recession. The new developer started building in January. They have a plan approved to build 1,050 homes. The Grand Hope opening for that development is on Saturday. Aaron. Lots of new construction for sure. Thank you, Caitlin. The Dunes has been approved for 1,200 new homes.